Hello and welcome friends to Bloodborne. I hope you're ready because we are here. We are finally at the end of this game, the end of our guided tour. Can't believe it's taken this long and I also can't believe it's almost over. <laughs> but that's how it is. We're gonna, um, we really don't have much left. We have a couple of boss battles. So this will be almost like a boss run to get to the end and really just kind of put a bow on this entire crazy game with its amazing story and insane plot line and all that stuff so who knows how long this is going to take because some of these bosses well actually really only one boss i would consider to be super tough and that's the last boss in the H old hunters dlc it's the only optional boss out of the f uh out of the dlc so uh we've defeated four already and there's one left and he's kind of a Kind of a doozy. I, I've always struggled with him because uh, he's a big size boss and I always seem to struggle with the big ones and I've heard he's even worse in the DLC. He's just like got so much more health and his damage hits so much harder and all that stuff. So, you know, all the stuff that we've come to expect from beloved New Game Plus. But we'll see how we do it. Don't hit me. Okay. Through this. Okay. Okay. We're gonna go back all the way up to the Cathedral Ward. Now, remember when we went in there the first time, there was a cleric beast on fire, and we grabbed a pendant from its hand, and it was inert. Now, everyone, when you see, when they play this game and see him, they're like, oh, he's gonna come to life and kill me. Well, he doesn't. We're gonna let these guys open the door and let them just foolishly get slaughtered by this big giant. Here. Oh, he's, uh, he's taking some hits. Oh, not looking so good for these guys anymore. I mean, they're getting their licks in. Uh, this is the most damage I've ever seen them do. Usually they just get one hit kill. Okay. No. Oh, God. Ah. Great. <laughs> okay. Uh, let us go to bolt paper, see if that does anything, and, uh, yeah, so there's the, that beast on fire. Oh, you see that? Oh, whoa, that was not the move I... Oh, back away, he's gonna... Yep, so here's Lawrence, the fabled Lawrence that we've seen for... We've been talking about through a lot of this game. No. Let's, uh, let's do what we can here. Okay. Back up, back up. Need some stamina. Let's activate our bolt paper because I was so dumb and didn't do it. limb. Okay. Third swing. He usually does a four swing. He's kind of holding off here. Oh, God. Oh, no. oh, my God. He did the triple swing that time. I thought I had uh, enough to... Whew. Well, <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, we're back at Lawrence, and he made a fool out of me last time, so... Let's see if we do any better here. Let's grab my blood echoes. Turn on my bolt paper, see if it does any good. 
He's gonna do a little area of effect damage. There you go. He's gonna try and grab. Oh no! Oh my god. Oh, I missed. He missed. Oh! That was rude. Oh! Okay, he does so much damage. Do that. Nope, that's two, three, four. Oh my god! Grab. I'm gonna miss. Okay. Get my stamina back. Okay, that was uh, not what I wanted to do. Oh, I missed. Oh my god. Take so much health. Oh, missed time that roll. Oh, hello. Well, fire's not gonna do any good. Oh! I stuck around too long for that. Big attack. Oh. Oh! Back away. Oh my god. Whew! Oh! Wasn't expecting that one. Oh, and he's going for a grab. Oh, I staggered him out of it. Thank you. Oh, he's pissed. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh. I'm still alive. Ah. <sighs> Behind him. Back away, back away. Do an effect. Okay, I'll go in. Okay, on to second phase. So this is where he burns off half of his body. Oh my god, and almost kills me. No! Not what I wanted to do. He's leaving a trail of lava, which really sucks. So, you gotta try and stay. Oh! Oh god, I'm in the fire. Woo. Okay. Yeah, you want to try and stay to his right if you can? Oh god. That hurt, that hurt. Oh, I'm in the fire. Yeah, he, he leaves you with very little room to... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he still got me? That's pretty cheap. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. He's killing me as fast as I can heal. Oh. Heal. I'm out of blood vials. That's not good. Okay, okay. No! Ah! 
music is epic. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Oh! Oh! Woo Holy cow. I used up every single blood vial. Yosefka's vial and Adeline's vial. That took everything I had. <laughs> oh my god. That was brutal. He was... He was way tougher than a uh, normal game. Oh man. He would just take like... He would just take away half my health in every hit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so glad it's over. Okay, well... That was really one of the last things we had to do. Uh, what I'm gonna do is... Since we are here... I'm going to repair Beast Hunter in case I need that. I'm going to... Let's switch out our... Our clothes. I want to look kind of badass here. Let's look. Let's wear Maria's outfit, even though it's kind of weak. I think it'll be appropriate for who we're facing next. And we'll keep... Well, how is this with... Hell? Uh, it's pretty high on defense. Uh, I'm just looking at the numbers at the top there. Okay. I think we're okay. Let's pull out our beloved Rikuyo, even though I don't think we've used that nearly as much as the other stuff. Um, I have on, I have 196 Gammon blood awaits vials. you at the foot of the great tree. Ah, the foot of the Go great on, tree. Good hunter. Oh, forgot to check Gammon for how many awaits. blood it goes in each. Okay, okay. Very well, let me. I need tw 240. Can I make that up with? I can sell some things. I can sell... Uh, old Hunter... Decorative Old Hunter Garb. Trousers. I think that's it. And then... 199. So yeah, that was... Uh, I didn't even talk about it. That was Lawrence. So the person who left Bergenworth uh, to form the Healing Church. So Lawrence was the the founder of the healing church, the first vicar. And when we fought Amelia, Vicar Amelia, the, like so long ago, at the base of the altar was a horrified, disfigured skull. And that was Lawrence's skull. So it makes sense like that's where the body of Lawrence is in the dream, right? And But also remember in the dream, we also found the skull of, the human skull of Lawrence. And so that's actually what activated Lawrence in as a boss. Like he, he sensed that we have his human skull, which is something he was searching for. And so he he wants it back, basically. So that's why he came to life uh, the Very second time, not the first time go. that we saw him. Very well, let me. Uh, God, might as well just use it for a little bit of health. Okay, so Very now. Good. Now that we, uh, in the last episode, killed uh, Marigo's wet nurse and freed Marigo to basically just kind of drift off into wherever, this dream is starting to break down. So Garman um, basically is is preparing for the end game here, and this gate that's been closed the entire time is now open. If we come in here, it's a beautiful open area full of flowers and tombstones and then this great tree which might also be represented in that um, grand cathedral with the the big tree behind the headless statue pouring out blood but let's see what old Garman has to say to us he's been missing for quite a while in this game actually I haven't really seen him very much lately good hunter you've done well the night is near its end now, I will show you mercy. You will die, forget the dream, and awake under the morning sun. You will be freed from this terrible hunter's dream. So, yeah, the, you do have uh, 
couple of different endings in this game. I won't be playing through all of them. I think there's just other people who are uh, able to do the editing, and uh, it's yeah. I would have to like reload saves and not re not even just reload saves. Like I would have to go like over like save my save file on a USB drive and then overwrite it and all the stuff. So it's just uh, it's a lot harder than just you know going back to a prior save. But we can talk about all the different endings once we get through this. I am not going to submit my life. We're going to refuse. <laughs> dear, oh dear. What was it? The hunt? The blood? Or the horrible dream? It doesn't matter. It always comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up after these sorts of messes. Tonight. Gammon joins the hunt. Alright, well, this fool didn't need a wheelchair at all. Okay. Woo. Visceral, this old man. Let's top up on some health. Okay, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I pressed the wrong button there. Okay. Oh, whoa! That actually didn't do a whole lot of damage, though. Oh my god. We'll telegraph that one pretty good. It's got a lot of health, actually. Ooh, double attack, huh? Now he's gonna use his gun. Oh! No. Oh. Oh, okay. Hmm. God damn it. I'm trying to rely on my parries too much. Oh, what a combo. There you go. Oh, come on! Woo! It was very fast. Got that combo. Oh, no! Thought he was gonna... He's gonna visceral me because I was healing. Oh, Rocket League's updated. <laughs> All right, now he's in his second phase. I don't know what he does here. Okay. Oh, visceral, you though. Running low on bullets, though. Oh, no! Oh, he didn't go for it, though. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, he does his, uh, old hunter's disappearing act. That's what... That's the same thing that Maria does. Oh! Music. Whoa! Oh, whoa. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Yeah! Get that visceral. Ooh! He's down pretty far. Oh! Holy cow! Oh! 
Holy cow. Oh! <laughs> Let's heal. So we brought down Garmin. Prey slaughtered. Old Hunter badge. Here we go. The true boss. Pale Moon. Thing we've been seeking from the very beginning. Pale Blood. Well, it tried to eat us basically, but couldn't, and now it's mad. So now we're gonna fight. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh! Holy cow. It does that thing that takes away all of my health except to one, which is really annoying. Oh, what are you doing? What is that? I don't know if I remember what that is. We're gonna stay away from that though. Oh, tail whip, all right, let's bring our fire back. Oh, no, don't do it again! Damn it! I have to use two blood vi uh, two vials to... Oh, I'm getting low on blood vials, which is not good. What? Damn it. Oh! oh I thought I could visceral it. Oh god, back away, back away, back away, back away. No, 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 no. Oh, you're gonna do that? God damn it, I wasted two blood vials. Ooh. And it's dead. Woo! There we go. We killed the moon presence, Nightmare Slain. Now remember that appeared only a few other times. That appeared after we killed the Great One, Mergo's Sweat Nurse, and Orphan of Cause. Are you cold? Oh, good hunter. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that was the end. So, that was the true ending. Um, if So, there were a couple of different endings that could have happened there. If we had uh, agreed to Garman's terms, We'd have basically allowed him to to kill us, and we would have we would have um, woken up from the nightmare. Uh, we would have gone on to just like wake up in the morning and then just live our lives like uh, we would have forgotten everything that happened during the night and the nightmare and all the crazy stuff. Um, so it's almost I guess it's almost a good ending for our character, but you know the night still goes on. They'll just be looking for other hunters. And just continue all the the awfulness that 
the knight's been doing since we left. Now, oof, I might have to turn down the audio a little bit here. Yeah, I just turned down um, the game audio a little because the the sound gets real, the the music gets really loud. But yeah, um, since we refused, we ba he uh, he basically has to try and force us out of the nightmare. So basically, he's trying to kill us. And actually, if if we end up killing him, so we took the uh, three umbilical cords at the end of the last episode because I didn't want to forget and get the true ending. But if we didn't take those umbilical cords and killed Garman. He would have died, and we would have been stuck in the nightmare still. We would have actually taken his place. We would have become sort of the host of the hunters in the dream um, to, to welcome all these hunters in and have them go off and do the endless night hunts. So that's definitely kind of the bad ending. But because we imbibed three uh, chords, uh, three third chords, to create one whole chord of a great one, I believe... My, you know, I think the thinking is that you basically imbibe the the power uh, of a great one. So that's why the moon presence, when he appears or it appears, and tries to basically like grab you and and suck your soul into it or whatever, absorb yourself. Like you had the power to resist it, and that's why you know he it dropped you and then started attacking you because now you're a threat. You're you're like um you're like a burgeoning great one. Ooh, the music. So yeah, imbibing the the Great One chords turns you, you know, gives you more power of like a, a Great One, and killing the Moon Presence as the Great One basically gives you even more power. So you essentially become a newborn Great One at the end. That's why you know there you were, the the doll picks up this slug like creature right and calls and says, "Good hunter." It's that's referring to you, uh, us as the character the player um, being transformed into a great one. So you've, you've done what everyone else in this game has been trying to do is ascend to the level of being a great one. Um, so that's, that's kind of the true ending. It's, I don't know if anyone can definitively say that's the, the good ending because you know, now you're just this like baby slug who knows what, what you have in store for, for other people, you know, like all the crazy stuff that great ones have done to people. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty crazy story. It's, uh, and you know, finally getting to the moon presence, right? Like that, that is the thing that we've been searching for from the beginning. That thing has been called the, you know, the moon presence also been referred to as pale blood, which is the thing that we were seeking out from the very beginning, you know, like when, um, the first note we see in that clinic when we wake up is, uh, is, is like, uh, what was it? Pale blood. Seek pale blood to, to transcend the hunt. Basically saying, kill the moon presence to end the nightmare, and so that that was the true goal of everything. It's just to, to get out of this. I keep calling it the Groundhog's Day. You know, Groundhog's Day from hell of, of this endless repeating night that's consumed so many other people and and destroyed all these people and turned them into beasts and snakes and like ghost like things and and drawn and made them go insane you know so it's the the goal was not to end the night or end the you know end the scourge of beast in yarnum it was to 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 escape this nightmare and to you know uncover what all, the true motives of all these different places the uh, bergenworth healing church mensis um canehurst uh the Tumerians, all these, all these like different groups of people were trying to manipulate the great ones to, to ascend. And you could see how twisted and, and crazy the, that they got, like the great ones were not necessarily like helping them out. Like it just turned them all into all these twisted monstrosities, but, uh, we were able to prevail in a way. So now we're, yeah, who knows? It's le it's kind of left up to us, right? If Especially if there's never a sequel. It's like, what what do we become as a great one? Like, what do we do with this newfound power? But yeah, it's pretty pretty crazy story. And yeah, like, you know, you can see how crazy, convoluted, and 
and obtuse the story is. So most people could get to that point and just be like, I don't know what happened. Like, why are we uh, like not maybe not even understand that we're the slug? Um, but yeah, and if you didn't know to consume the chords before the end of the game, like you wouldn't even get that ending. You'd get like either waking up from the dream, which maybe that's like the the most satisfying one, uh, or you continue the cycle as the new Garman, which is very unsatisfying, you know. So, but yeah, that's uh that's Bloodborne. That's an uh, it's an amazing game. I just can't believe how how good that this game is, and it's just. Well, we were circling back. I, yeah, I, I continuously think about this game. I love watching other people play this game. And I love when people discover this game. It just feels like more and more people are grown to appreciate it. And uh, we're going to... And yeah, it basically cycles us into... I guess this would be New Game Plus Plus. Um, which is pretty nuts. Uh, I think you can go like seven to nine times um, and keep scaling and the scaling just gets nuts. Uh, you know, any, everything will, will basically one hit kill you at a certain point, but we're not going to do that. We're going to end it here. This is the guided tour. I really hope you enjoyed this. I really hope this was helpful for and informative for people. Um, I always enjoy playing this game, but it's, I love when people discover this game and, and, and just kind of, get won over by it. it's such a, like all these from soft games are so intimidating to people but i think they're worth playing just because they're just masterpieces especially bloodborne uh this is to me like my favorite but uh from soft game and also it's become one of my top five games of all time just because of how much you learn about it, how much you grow to appreciate all the things like even the first time beating the game all the way through was like okay, that was a great game, but you just don't understand. Like, I didn't understand the, um, the true magnitude of what, what this game was doing um, until you really just kind of see it. And uh, I said this in the very first episode we did and uh, maybe one or two more times is, uh, you know, I really encourage you, even if you've watched all the way to this point, which thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate it. But I encourage you to try the game out for yourself because there's just nothing quite like I can't replicate this for you like um with just playing on YouTube like you gotta be on the sticks yourself and you gotta oh here's the note um seek pale blood transcend that yeah you just gotta get the uh experience yourself especially just feeling the anxiety and the um the fear and the tension of actually playing and and trying to get to that next lantern or you know risk losing all your God, look at that six six hundred ninety thousand blood echoes you know like it's there's all, everyone always has that moment where they have accrued so many and they're afraid of losing it and then they die and it's just like oh my god and it's a it's a you know it's a purposeful mechanic in the game like that's they do that on purpose and it's it makes it uh makes everything feel like it's worth it you know like you, every, you're just moving forward and it's there's a risk but you get rewarded and it's, yeah, it's an amazing mechanic. And I, I love that about this game. So anyways, we're going to end this here. Hopefully uh, I answered a lot of questions about what this, what's going on in this game and gave you a deeper under appreciation for what's happening in this game. And as always, feel free to hit me up with questions or any comments or anything about what's going on in this game. I will do my best to answer, but I will also recommend you go to uh, other resources on the internet and YouTube uh, as far as like deep diving into lore because I guarantee you those places are going to have much more eloquently expressed, you know, uh, um, explanations of what's going on and, and stuff like that. And uh, that, I mean, those places were the basis of a lot of my knowledge too. Like all the stuff that I, I've been telling you guys is stuff I learned through all those lore videos and, and on the internet, like uh, um, essays and all this stuff. So very invaluable but again thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and um it was it was awesome getting to play this game and show this to you so thank you so much bye